hunters and welcome back to hunter call of the wild the hunt for gold we are still here in eurasia we still have musk deer and eurasian lynx to take home we've only moved see if i can hit the m button there it is we've only moved a little bit to the west of where we were at last time oh i didn't pick up that stand either oh I guess that's why I had it there. Oh, that's that tree stand. Yep, didn't take, didn't pick it up. Uh, I'm a pretty forgetful person. So let's see, where are we going to go today? Um, I tell you, let's push down into this country here. Yeah, let's push over here into this country just to see what we can see. Just to see what we can run across. And again, we got the two two three with us, and I'm still. Yep, I'm still using this. You've watched the previous episode. You know the absolute heartbreak <laughs> that this thing... Uh, that was a rough episode. That was a rough day. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. If you didn't... If you don't know, you'll have to... Well, you don't have to watch the episode. You could probably... You could probably talk me into telling you, but... Let's just say that I had four good shots, probably, at a certain somebody. <laughs> and I just could not make the bolt do what the bolt is supposed to do. Couldn't figure it out. But I kind of like the, uh, I kind of like this terrain for musk deer. I think that this is, I mean, I, I know it's like a vertical mountain and such, but I, I kind of like this area for musk deer. And I think that the Eurasian lynx, I bet you could you could find it be bopping around here, you know. And really, I don't remember if we spent a ton of time here at the Grand Tour. I just kind of remember I didn't like it. The map is uh, there's just a lot of there's not a lot of life here. It's 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 pretty much completely frozen all the time. So not my bag, not my bag. Who is that? Look at that thing. Lord have mercy. That's a seven. I think our crossbow goes up to seven. And we missed him. Oh, right, 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 right. We're here for... We have a very... We're here hunting a very specific animal. This bear is not on that list. And that bear is not bleeding either, so we missed him. Look at him. Big old blue bloop blue bitty bloop The teddy bears have their pick, neck. Alright, now that we got him out of the way. Oh, the warning shot. Ah, this... I know we're going to have a really bad time with that crossbow. That piece of junk. Where? <laughs> The last video I was talking about, I was like, man, I might get a crossbow. You know, this thing's only like $300. And you get the scope, you get adjustable stocks and pistol grips and everything. Like, it's pretty cool. But having played with this thing in the game, I'm like, you know what? It's also cool. 1,200 meters per second. Muzzle velocity. That's pretty cool, too. <laughs> There's actually a part of me that wants to take a um, shotgun out for these musk deer. I feel like I could take it with a uh, with with buckshot pretty easy. I don't see blood. I don't think we hit it. I didn't see the animation for blood either, so I am pretty okay. I am pretty okay with us not. Yeah, we'll go down in there. We'll, we'll come down in here and then pop up. There's a trail down there too, so if we wanted to, we could take it over the hump of this mountain and get on this side. Just kind of see what we see. One thing nice about this map is that they put a ton of uh, outposts and houses. I feel like there are very many in this particular map. Oh, 
Oh, who's that? Who is that? Now remember the bus deer, we cannot call them in, but the lynx we can. So if we can get on the trail of a Eurasian lynx, it's probably gonna be that same bear that we shot at. Yeah. Um but if we can get on the trail of the Eurasian lynx, we can use the lure and call her in. Um we just can't do it to uh, anything. Or we can't do it to the musk deer. There's no lure for him. Besides the scent lure. But that, I mean, I, and this, another reason why I chose this direction is if you look, that my scent is blowing ahead of me, right? So the idea here is if, if there is a musk deer out there, you know, what I'm just not saying, you know, right behind this tree line, then there's a chance that that scent lure is going to hit him. And it's going to bring him out to me, right? So another reason why I'm walking this direction or why I chose this direction is just because it's in the direction of the wind and I want to try to get that lure working for me as much as I can because that's all I got for the must deer besides just running around and getting lucky and finding their tracks I usually send you guys away and I bring you back if anything uh once I have something, but I kind of felt like keeping you guys around and just talking to you a little bit at the beginning, just to kind of set the mood and touch phase and check in, you know. I kind of feel like if I just, if I just keep bringing you back for the highlights, I feel like we get it, we, we miss some of the time together, right? So. I think for the first little bit here, I'm just going to talk to you. What is that? Brown bear warning call, huh? That's cool. Game just glitched there for a second. I kind of feel like my graphics card might be on its last leg. Which would break my heart. I kind of, I really don't want to have to fight to get a new one. I hear that the shortages on graphics are this i'm doing this in january by the way january 20th or 21st so this won't come out till february the 18th but uh right now the graphics cards are so difficult to get your hands on so if my crap's out then if, if mine dies right now i probably will have to go for a radeon i probably won't be able to get in nvidia if i do get in nvidia it's going to be one that's just ugh insanely expensive I do not want to do that right now all right well I think we've kind of established the uh, the episode you kind of know where we're going you know what we're doing we got a little chit chat so why don't I just bring you back if anything amazing oh you're up here <laughs> I'll just bring you back if anything amazing happens all right see you in a minute it's, of course, not what we're after, but there is a big old bear at the bottom of this hill. And I think the call that I have will bring him in, too, right? So um, I'm going to keep using the call, trying to get that Eurasian lynx to come to me. And if the bear... If that bear keeps coming up this... Oh, there's the Eurasian lynx right there. He is a three. This will work perfect. I didn't even see him for a second. Come here, buddy. Man. You see how they can disappear? And we got him dead to rights. We got him dead to rights. All we have to do is wait. He's maybe 60 meters, maybe. He knows. He's got that bad vibe feeling.
There's a bear going. There's another bear going. You see movement? Man, having another having a follow up shot is so so surreal. Like I almost didn't I almost didn't know I could pull the trigger again. That first shot on him though, we hit that rock right in front of him. Um oh look, 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 look. That's a vital organ. He's gone, he's down. He's he's right there. He is right there. Ah. Oh. Man, I, I, we hit him. We shot that we, the first shot that we 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 got him. Or the first shot we hit the top of that rock, and I was like, "Damn, I gotta, I gotta zoom out, and reload." And I was like, "Oh no, no, no! This one has another shot." I just did like a hip fire, and I think we got him in the lung. Let's see what we got here. It is a bronze. It's female. The trophy type is skull, so we can take female or male. He was 13, uh, 11.3 kilograms. A gold on this is a 23. A diamond is a 27. But the area, the margin for these guys is razor thin. Like, we're going to have to get... They're going to have to be... This is going to be a challenge here. This is going to be like fox level challenge. So pretty. Love it. Love it. Man, that's good stuff. What's the time like here? What do we got on the time? Ooh, maybe I should have taken him with the crossbow. Uh, 1800. I think. I feel like we're going to lose track soon. But I, I also don't feel like we're going to lose track soon. Just because of how where the sun is at. So I want to just fast travel somewhere and get up in the morning. I do. I do. I'm going to fast travel somewhere and get up in the morning. When I played this on the Grand Tour, it was actually a uh, a place I found. A need zone. Yeah. Hey, developers. I'm, su I'm super serious. Where are you? There you are. You need to make it where the, the need zones like pop up. Right? And like they're super duper easy to find and locate. Okay? But seven o'clock. Let's go over here. Six in the morning. Run and grab that. Put on our scent eliminator and put a deal up right here at six in the morning. Go do that. Boop. Actually, we'll go get it right now. We'll go get that tree stand right now. Uh, tripod stand. We probably have. Probably have enough time to go do that. We'll fast travel back. Are you moving on? Yep. We'll go snag it. We'll fast travel back. Uh, we'll go to sleep. Get up at 5. 30. Maybe 6. Oops. 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 Then I'm gonna, I'll put on the musk deer stuff. I'm not, I won't put on scent eliminator. I'll try to. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, running the wrong way. There we go. We've done this before. We've done this exact same thing before. When I came here on the Grand Tour, um, we uh, we found this place up here. We stumbled across it, and I was like, oh, okay, the last um, video of the Grand Tour, we're gonna we're gonna set up on a on a lynx and we came right down through here i think this doesn't look familiar now that i now that i see it wherever it was that we we did this before where we there was a resting zone for them and we came early in the morning to set up a, a tripod on them or a tree stand on them and as we were coming toward this area we just crossed paths with one of them and we took it with a shotgun and it was pretty much what had just happened in that previous shot are you guys here? It was pretty much what just happened in that previous shot where he was kind of below us and we had to wait to get him out of the rocks. And that shotgun, you know, right as he came out of the rocks, we just, you know, boom, buckshot, you know. 
That's kind of another reason why I think I want to do the shotgun against these guys. Is unlike the arrow and unlike the bullet that can get stuck on trees or hit rocks. The buckshot, you know. And these things, I mean, it's not that it's not that they're little, but the buckshot just. I don't want to be here. <laughs> this place. This is my least favorite map. I mean, there are some parts that are beautiful, and the animals that are here are magnificent, but I don't like it. I don't like it. The heck was that? Kind of banshee. Yeah, this is not my bag. Which is weird because I kind of like snowy landscapes, you know, like. Morning call, Siberian must deer. Female. Tons of females around here. Where are the males at? And again, invisible walls. You can't just step over, you gotta jump. Ooh, if I go after her. I go after her and I kill her, it'll put hunting pressure in the area. And the females don't have the fangs, it's only the males. wonder if the males are vocal at all. Now that I think about it, I've not really ever, I don't remember hearing a male give a warning call or a male do a uh, mating call. I wonder if the males are vocal. Might be why you can't make a lure for them, right? Watch this, there will be a lure, and I'm going to post these videos, and someone's going to be like, dude, are you mental? Of course there's a lure for it. Learn to read. Okay, who's this up here? I didn't see her, by the way. That must deer. Oh, no. I've already went on one wild goose chase today, so this is must deer. The track's here, that's must deer. Yep, that's female. Don't really care. Well, female must deer right now. And deer mating call could even care less about that. Now, this little area here, how cool does it look? How cool does it look? Pretty cool, I think. See, like, there's little areas like this that I think are just awesome. Like, I would love to set up right here and watch something come out of the bushes, you know, and get a pop shot on it or something. Like, that'd be cool, but... Places like this on, on this map, few and far between. They even have that really weird, like, Tunguskan... Oh, oh, oh. Bears. They have a lot of bears here. I just wouldn't think bears would be like a huge apex predator type thing for this area. I just there's so many of them. I know I've talked about it before, and it's it's completely the wrong genre for this uh, this type. But there's a game called Ark where you're like on a dinosaur island, and if that game would just take a hint from this game. And just reduce the amount of dinosaurs. I might. I, I think I uninstalled it. No, I didn't. Because uh, someone that lives here likes the dinosaurs. <laughs> Another female Siberian warning call. Um, but uh, I might show you a screenshot. Like no matter where you, he's like right there. Man, why is her? She's a zero to fifty-four. Her trophy rating. That's interesting. Why is she zero to fifty-four? I thought the females were like zero zero. Like they're just not gonna. 
not worth anything. Let's investigate. Why was she zero to fifty four? See, they are zero, and they don't. They all have it. Yeah, I don't know why she said that she's the fifty four. All I did there was just hit increase the hunting pressure seventy meters away from where I'm going to try to hunt this friggin' Eurasian lynx. Whatever. Well, here we go with the lynx. I think up here, these these bedding zones. We'll click on it. And we'll see if one even uses this area to bed down. And if one doesn't even use it to bed down, then we'll just, just move on with our lives. I forgot what I was saying. Hmm. Okay. I don't even see a bed down area. It's just a need zone. Well, that's interesting. 7 a.m., right? Where are we at right now? 640. I would think they're in the area. I'm going to set up up here in this gigantic open area. There's already a blind there. I think I paid for that blind too. You can go sit in a nice little house where it's warm. <laughs> I'll sit here though. Can't believe I just did increase my hunting pressure killing that stupid thing. It said zero to 54, and I was like, man, I thought they didn't have the trophy organ. I thought they were all going to be zero. Could have just remembered and listened to my instinct. <sighs> all right, that's enough of that. Have a look, see here. Forty minutes away from seven, and I know they don't show up like seven o'clock on the dot, but you know, we're here early. We're settled in. We have a scent blocker on. I think uh, we're good. How how much are we inside that? Yeah, we're inside that pressure hunting zone pretty bad. But what are you gonna do besides not shoot random deer that don't really provide anything? <laughs> All right, I'll bring you back if I pick something up. I don't know if it's my character making a noise or if it's an animal. Were those, are those feet prints there when we came up? I'm not going to lie to you. I got bored. I got bored and I started reading my phone. And then I kept hearing this like. But I wasn't moving my character at all. And I was like, oh, okay. Maybe he's like. Like if you remain still. <gasps> How is it alive? How is it alive? There's no way. There's no way. No way. That's a large, that is a large blood splatter. Well, I guess that answers that question. <laughs> Are you on? Are you guys back? It's a, oh. oh, female, man. Oh, that's cool. I have never seen a little tree stand work as well as that, or a tripod stand work as well as that. Well, I remember the Yukon episode we did where we bagged that 
Mama Moose that was giving us such a hard time. That was giving us such a hard time. Um, we used a tripod stand on her. Where else have we used a tripod stand? Okay, yeah, I guess on the reindeer, but... That whole situation was a cluster. Of epic proportion. Okay, number one. I don't feel like those tracks were here when we came up. I would have investigated them had they, had, had they been there. I don't. 100% no. They kind of look like bear. But the Eurasian lynx also has that same like. Padded footfall. Or padded footprint. I keep feeling like I hear something. Another female. It brought in because of the lure. Where's your boyfriend? Bring your boyfriend over here. Tell him. Hey, there's a guy who wants to talk to you. You know what? More archery experience. knew I heard something. I think we're good now. Yeah, that one right there went, worked pretty good. Not too bad. Another zero, but money in the bank. An archery experience, which we kind of need a lot of. Regular experience, which always welcome. This guy here, he got there. He dropped. He dropped right there. Yeah, I was like, man, there's no way. There's no way, brother. Okay, what a beautiful little area here. Look at that. Is this... Is this going to be magic? Is this going to be magic? Remember when I used to take pictures of the animal as my thumbnail? Remember when I used to not even care about thumbnails? I just picked something from the frame or from the video? We've come a long way, folks. Show me that gold. Beautiful setting. Great shot. So good. So good. Yeah, I shot her right there in the side and I was like, man, there's no way she's getting out of this. So pretty. She's 15 kilograms, so we know that gold probably is going to be 21 kilograms, 24 kilograms to get that gold. Looks good. And then this area is pretty much done for. There's a lot of pressure points there. Hunting pressure points, that is. All right. Well, I think that's going to be the Eurasian Lynx video done. I do need to go to sleep. I have a big day tomorrow. All my days are big. All my days are big. 
never a dull moment. I'm not going to lie to you. I wanted that to be a gold. <laughs> oh, man. I wanted that to be a gold. Okay. Do we have anywhere else where we know where these jokers bed down at? Out there. I would not think they're going to be out here on the plane. I would not think they're going to be out here on the plane. I think they're going to be more on this side. Make deer. Oh, there's Siberian musk deer. We're going to go there next. We're going to go here and we're going to push out this way. I remember this area being wide open and flat with no trees. And it was a hunter's paradise. We need to go claim that hunting shack too. Down here was the same kind of hunter's paradise. What is that? Brown bear again? Main deer? Brown bear? Yep. So next episode, we're going to alternate back to Siberian musk deer, and we're going to come down there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Should I go pick up my tree, tree stand? I guess I ought to. Or my tripod stand. That was a good day. It's a good day. Two... Uh, must deer and two lynx. It would have been nice if some of those must deer would have been boys. But just stinking girls. Alright. We'll pick this up. We have beautiful light. We'll find us a nice place for a view. We'll say Arrivederci. This little 223 is not so bad, huh? This little 223. Pretty good stuff. I'm digging it. Well, you know what? That right there looks pretty good. What was that? Oh. Boy. Girl. Crap. Is that her yelling at us? I swear, man. It's always yelling about something. <laughs> Bring your boyfriend with you. All you girls need to get boyfriends and bring your boyfriends. Not interested. This single girl life, whatever that is. If she pops up again, you think I can take her from out here? Laying on this big old rock. Let's see if she pops up again. Or do you think she will if she does pop up? It'll be a game. Look at the screen and say she's going to pop up. Right. She'll pop up right over there. Or she'll come right down this way. Or we'll see her walking out that way. Or up here on this little ridge. If you can anticipate her movement. Knowing our luck, she turned around and walked away. We made fun of her. That she didn't have a boyfriend, so she's going to leave us alone. Almost tempted to... Almost tempted to bring the roe deer collar out here and just try it. <laughs> meep. Meep. Oh, the hunting pressure probably pushed her away. E well, I say that. Man, she's in here close. She's sneaky. She's sneaky, sneaky. Came down in through here, probably. Oh, 
Where are you at, lady? Where are you at, lady? If she's close, if she comes out like right here in front of these trees, I might use the crossbow. It's already 10. It's late. We may have to go down in there after her. Was that last call she gave us a warning call or was it another mating call? It's a mating call, yeah. There she is. Oh, I got her in the head. Got her in the head. Yep, didn't mean to do that. Rip. Maybe not. Maybe it was the spinal cord. Ooh, that first shot was a vital organ hit. I didn't think it was. Maybe she just killed over and died from that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I shot her three times. Ugh. That'd be rough. Please don't be shot three times. Nope, just twice. Oh, that first shot was it. Perfect. Yeah, got her in the lung. And then that second shot. Uh, I thought I got her in the head because she just died right there. All right, cool. We passed that check. More money. Executive kill bonus works for me. Folks, on that note, I am ready to say see you around. Sorry we didn't get a gold must deer or gold Eurasian lynx, but you know. We're on the scoreboard for both now. We know that for the Eurasian lynx, we're looking for around a 27, 28. The weight probably should be around 24, 25. And we know for musk deer, we're looking at around 150 or 120 for those bad boys. And we have a good, we have a good line on musk deer down here. This area is wide open. We have a place to rest right here. We'll just pop out, pick the one we want, blammo. We'll be done with musk deer next, next video. And then it'll just be the grind for that Eurasian lynx. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.